Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. So after the credits rolled, we have woken up and we're just back home. Let's uh, go inside, I guess. What's this? Hello, Kebab. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. All right, well, I was gonna say hello to my mom for the first time in forever, but I think instead we'll go see the professor. He's more important. Kebab, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Technically, I already have, but whatever. The ship departs from Olivine City. But you knew that already, Kebab. After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. Will do. But first, we do have a quick stop. Don't uh, worry, it's not very long. It's just something we should have done a while ago. Which is we're going to go stop by Mr. Pokemon. Uh, assuming we have the correct item. I think it's a key item. We have... Yeah, red scale. Good. For some reason, we never got around to doing this, and we will do that now. Gotta hand it in. Oh no, some random Pokemon. It's gonna be so scary. Oh, it's a Weedle. Level 3, I don't know if we can handle this. Yeah. Alright, well anyway. Yeah, I kept wondering where my EXP share was. The reality is I never went and got it, so that would be the problem. And I couldn't go get it when we were at the Indigo League because you couldn't fly from the Indigo League over here. You'd have to walk back. And that'd be annoying. Hmm, that scale? What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I, I want it. Kebab, would you care to trade it? I can offer this EXP share I got from Professor Oak. Life is delightful. Always new discoveries to be made. Alright, there we go. So now, if I ever want to train something up again, it will be less of a nightmare. Although, honestly, it wasn't that bad. It's just time-consuming. Anyway, Olivine City, here we come. Alright, where's the boat here? Is it just down here? I'm guessing that's the case. Welcome to Fast Ship SS Aqua. Will you be boarding today? May I see your SS ticket? That's it, thank you. Very nice. We're departing soon. Please get on board. Looks like we made it just in time. They almost left without that guy if I hadn't shown up. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. All right, well, we're on a ship. I don't really know what's all on this ship, so let's just check every room, as you do whenever you're on a ship. You just break and enter into everyone's room. Check their trash cans, battle them, all the things. Are you alone? Then let's battle. I actually watched a video about items in trash cans, it's like there's actually not that many items in trash cans in Pokemon. It's just, they taught you early on to always look. Oh no, a Sand Slash. It's only level 31 though, that's kinda pathetic, really. I was kinda concerned training all my Pokemon up to 40 that maybe it would make the battles too easy from here on, but honestly, they weren't that hard in the first place. And at least now we don't have to overly rely on Firebird and Bayonetta. Ooh, Golem. Perfect foe for dangly fish. But it's not to say training isn't important, though. We obviously need to train up because even if the next eight gym leaders are easy, the final battle isn't necessarily going to be very easy. I remember it being quite difficult, actually. Although I was just a kid at the time, and I feel like things are not as hard now as they used to be. That's too much to handle! Oh, great. 
Hi, Kebab. How are you? While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your room. Ah, uh, we didn't check our room. How sad. It's the professor's fault. Yeah, I don't care about you. We're not gonna check the trash cans. It's apparently a waste of time. I see that, and then we go into a room that's only a trash can. Nope, there's nothing in there. Come on, get through that door. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, DC, which is interesting. So we could swap things out. Here's your cabin. Oh, okay, that's why it has a PC. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap in the bed. That will heal them. Oh, really? That's very convenient. This would be a good place to train, then. Very nice. Alright, we got more rooms. It's kind of weird that I have a guy guarding my door, but whatever. I'm going to Kanto to put on fire-breathing shows. I wonder if this guy's a fire-breather. Wow, what a shock. Wild. Coughing, huh? Kind of a low-level Pokemon, if I must say so. Like, you'd at least expect a wheezing after the Elite Four, right? Am I crazy? Oh. Should really train up Bayonetta, I guess. Oh, but Flareon, yeah, that's not the right choice. I did look it up, and honestly, there's not a huge point in evolving Bayonetta, because the base stat total doesn't get any higher, it just changes. It pulls 40 from speed and distributes it between attack and defense, which, you know, sure, false fight hitting slightly harder would be nice, but the speed's kind of nice, too. We'll probably evolve Bayonet eventually, but I'm not in a rush for it. It's more of a Pokedex thing than anything else. But speaking of, let's get Bayonet out here, because obviously, higher level, more damage, more defense, makes it much more useful for catching Pokemon. And we're, you know, more than halfway to a level. Goodbye, coughing. And those crits have been useful when people do nonsensical defense buffs. Fizzle, the flame's tiny. Alright, well, that's all. What is on this table, by the way? I don't even know. In we go. Nothing. Wow, so exciting. I wonder if we can sleep in other people's beds. The passengers are all trainers. They're all itching to battle in their cabins. Hey, kid. Want to battle with me? I do, actually. Colin. With his deli bird. Wow. At least it's a decent level, I guess. Either way, it's gonna get sparked. Yep, goodbye, Deli Bird. I have to decide if we're gonna switch up our team at all in Kanto. There's a lot of new Pokemon that will be available, but I have to figure out if I want them. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. No, babies can't talk. That's my definition of a baby. <laughs> Very scientific. Alright, Surf. Did we ever catch a Teddy Ursa? I don't actually know. It was so long ago. It's, the sprite doesn't feel familiar, but that doesn't mean anything. But we'll, we'll complete the Pokedex later. Not fan pee. And by complete the Pokedex, I mean we'll catch everything that can be caught in this game. Or obtained through trading with yourself. But I don't think we'll get all 251, probably. Unless we do, I don't know. Oh, we lost! 
I do have an idea that maybe I'll stream through gold or silver at some point in the future, so I could technically catch all the Pokemon eventually. Oh, hello. I still can't find my granddaughter. If she's on the ship, that's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bugging someone. I'm worried. Like, his granddaughter might have, like, fallen off the ship or gotten abandoned in Olivine City, but he's just like, yeah, well, you know, if she's still here, it's fine, but whatever. Hey, kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Are we allowed to pass? No. All right. Um, I thought we looked everywhere, though. I had looked everywhere. There's not like another door, is there? There's a spot over there, but we can't get to it. Is he gonna be in that room that had the beds? No? Where is he? Or is it one of these guys? I mean, we looked in every room, didn't we? Where's this guy goofing off? I don't see anyone we haven't talked to. You would expect it to be a sailor. Um, am I gonna have to use a guide for this? It doesn't seem right. Nope. He's not gonna be in my room. Is it you? Oh, I guess we missed a door. Yeah, I'm a sailor, all right. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Ah, forget it. Let's battle. No, I think maybe I did check this one. He just wasn't in it. I don't know. Stanley. Not Stanley. I've heard he has a cup. Alright, dingly fish. If I get the chance. If he has all fighting types, we can train uh, Armadillo a bit on it. That'd be nice. See what he has. I have some fish though. Well, that's fine, that's fine. I really gotta get Steel Wing on Armadil so that it can be useful in more situations because otherwise Armadil is like a top contender to get removed from my team, which is funny because I worked so hard to get Armadil on my team. And the typing is useful. Like, you resist so many things. So we do have a lot of fire weakness on our team. Psyduck. You know what, we'll keep it. Whatever. I don't think we have a Psyduck. I think you have to have Surf and go back to Ilex Forest for Psyduck. Goodbye, Psyduck. Don't know what a sailor does with a Psyduck, though. <laughs> Seems kind of useless on a ship. Sorry, it's all my fault. Being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting. All right. Well, now we can go ahead and go down here, and for some reason we're allowed through now. Really understand it myself. Urf, I'm seasick. A juggler, huh? Fritz. Mr. Mime. It really doesn't matter which Pokemon we use for most of these battles because they're just so low level. I don't know, did they really expect you to beat the Elite Four with, like, mid to low 30s as your team? Oh no, his attack went up. Whatever shall we do? Goodbye. Kind of annoying that he survived in the first place. Alright. Machoke. Oh good, Armadil gets to train again. Gotta get those levels. But yeah, going back to what I was discussing on the teams, 
I wouldn't mind swapping these out. It's kind of fun having a slightly different team. Obviously, we're keeping Firebird no matter what. And Bayonetta is unlikely to get replaced just because I do like to have False Swipe on hands at all times. And I don't know if there's a better False Swipe Pokemon. There's like Farfetch'd, but the only reason to do Farfetch'd would be if I wanted to put Cut, Fly, and False Swipe on the same Pokemon, which, you know, would free up Armadillo to be something else, I guess. I didn't pay attention to what's getting sent out. Oh, uh, Magmar, that's unfortunate, actually, uh, but we can just fly and probably one-hit KO. It's probably fine. I've used Farfetch'd on my team before. It's not super exciting. I can't move anymore. Alright, well, that's that. Anything else here? Nope. Alright. I'm not gonna look through that trash can. <laughs> okay. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. Jeff. Eradicate. Usually rats on a ship would be a problem, but in Pokemon they do it on purpose. So close. Who's next? Another Raticate. Yeah, we'll just keep Dangly Fish. We may or may not level up from this, I don't know. But I'm eager to find out. And gone. Oh, come on. Win or lose, my break's over. My job doesn't let me do Pokemon battles on my break. They don't even let me bring Pokemon to work. I'm so bored. Want to battle? Ebra. Seeking, huh? I mean, it makes sense to have a water type on a ship. If you fall off, you're safe. All right. Spark it up, dangly fish. You've got a level to earn. Very nice. Yow, you're too strong. Right? Oh, we got some stairs. Nothing else. No items yet. Ah, look at that. Captain, play with me, please? I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me? I have to go. I have to go find Grandpa. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. Bob, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know, I'd like you to have this. Ah, the metal coat. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. And they all just abandon conversation and stare at me. All right, good stuff, good stuff. You know, we could go heal in my room, but I think we'll heal in the Pokemon Center. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Alright, here we are. We are now in Kanto proper, not just the whole Indigo League part of it. Walk through this ridiculous tunnel. And here we are. No trucks with Mews under them, but we're still happy to be here nonetheless. We got this guy here. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. And then we got... Snorlax. We don't have a Pokefoot, though. So not much we can do there. We got a Mart. We got a house. We got a Poke Center. Heal at. 
And I think that's just about it for this episode. We will begin our proper Kanto adventures next episode. Until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!